Hi, I'm Steve Geary from OneSite Solutions, and this short video is going to give you an overview about our iBuilding Energy Management software. There are two different types of user interface within the software, advanced users and express users. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to run through the express user interface. Now, as, now as an express user, this is designed to be intuitive and shouldn't require any formal training. But if you do need any assistance, you'll notice that there is a getting started button and you can click through this and this will talk you through the different functions and features of the software. So to start with, I'm going to go into the top left hand corner of menu. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to expand out and see some of my functionality. So if we drop down to start with on energy analysis and let's click into energy analysis. This is now going to pull up the uh, tree structure that's been set up and configured within the advanced settings. I'm going to drill down through my uh, through my navigation tree. So I'm going to go through the industrial company into my main meters and I'm going to select my main electricity kilowatt hour meter. Now what this has done is it's loaded the previous seven days worth of data as standard. But I have the capability where I can select the last 24 hours, four weeks, one year. Or add in my own custom setting. For this demonstration, I'm going to select one year. You'll notice that I can change it from kilowatt hours into cost. Or I can change that into, into carbon and CO2. I can also change the look and feel. And for this uh, example, I'm going to put it into a, uh, a bar chart. And within the options, I have the ability where I can uh, maybe apply a comparison where I might want to view my data against a different date and time. It's very easy for me to view the actual data itself by clicking on the chart data, scrolling down and viewing how much consumption we've had for each of the months. I can export this data easily out of the software as say a CSV file or different file formats. Or if there was a particular exception that I wanted to report on, I can add a note. I can select the path, what the type of issue was, put in a description and then add some commentary. And then that can be safe for all to see. If I want to actually interact with this data though, I can also interact on the graph. So if I select November, I can click at November, I can select a day and I can drill down and I can see my half hourly profiles. I can also add additional meter points to the graph. And I could start adding these as, as, as many of these until it becomes unreadable. So that's looking at energy analysis. So the next one down is now going to be templates. So templates, an advanced user can create templates, save them down so that an express user has the ability to view these very quickly or maybe even build them into a dashboard. So if I take my analysis types to start with, I'll give you a demonstration of a league table. And I'll select this particular one here. So in this league table, we have a number of sites that we're comparing. As you can see from this demonstration, the town hall is consuming 28.3% of the energy consumption. However, if I select the key performance indicator of consumption and change that now to area, we can now see that it's actually the leisure complex that is using the most energy per square meter. And if I select down at chart data, we can see exactly this. Again, I have the uh, capability where I can export my data here into, into a CSV and manipulate it outside of the software. Or I can add any notes that I want to put that might be associated to that data. I run through maybe some of the other functions that are available. If we maybe pick baseload analysis. So within the advanced settings, we've put in what the operational hours are of this particular site or area within the site. And as you can see, 62% of the energy is being consumed during the working hours, which means more importantly that 38% are being consumed out of hours. Now, there might be genuine reasons why, they're being, um, why there's such a high base load that might be down to servers running or plant that needs to run 24 seven. However, this could also be some very easy low hanging fruit of where savings can be uh, obtained 
and reduced. Some of the other functions that are available, there is a, a whole bunch of predefined PDF reports within the software that can be uh, either run ad hoc or, or sent on a scheduling basis. There are alarms. You can create bills and view those bills within the software. What I'm going to move on to shortly, though, is just move on to dashboards. And I've got a pre-configured demo. So as you can see here, I have a, uh, a number of uh, panels or widgets within my display, and I can create multiple pages, move them around. Now, these dashboards are configurable by the end users as well. So I can come in and, and click my edit function. I can then resize, and I could drop in new pages into the, into the page, or new widgets onto the page. And I can also change exactly the look and feel as well. I can say exactly how long I want my page to be displayed for um, before it moves on to the next page, and then just confirm. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of the express usage um, user within iBuilding Energy. If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact us on the, uh, on the link below, and we'd love to answer and give you a fuller demonstration of the software. Thank you.